All right, so you want to go live on YouTube using OBS Studio. Let me walk you through it step by step. First things first, you need to get OBS on your computer. It's totally free. Just open up your web browser and go to the OBS official site, obsproject.com. Pick your operating system. I go with Windows and once the installer downloads, run it and follow the prompts to get OBS installed. Once it's installed, fire up OBS Studio from your Start menu or Applications folder. If it shows the Auto Configuration Wizard, cancel it. Before we can actually stream, we need something to show. Hit the plus sign in the Scenes box and create a new scene. Name it Streaming. Click that little plus sign under the Sources box. Choose Display Capture from the list and click OK. The automatic capture method is usually fine. Then just pick the primary monitor from the display dropdown and hit OK again. If you want to add your webcam too, it's easy. Just click the plus again, pick Video Capture Device, and select your webcam from the menu. For now, we'll keep it simple so I am not choosing it and sticking with just the screen capture. Next up, we need to connect OBS to your YouTube account. Click on Settings over on the left, then find the Stream section. Choose YouTube as the service. Here you have two options. Either click Connect Account, which is easy and recommended, or use Stream Key. I will go for the connected account. Now, staying in Settings, click on Output on the left. Make sure you're looking at the Streaming tab and set the output mode to Simple. Change the video bitrate to around 8000 or less, like 4000 if your PC and internet are not very powerful, and the audio bitrate to 160. For the video encoder, if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, pick H.264 NVENC. If you're using an AMD card, choose the AMD option. No fancy graphics card? Just stick with software X264, like me. Then, set the encoder preset to medium, which is also a default and good for an average system. Hop over to the audio tab next. Under desktop audio, Choose the speakers or headphones your computer sound comes out of. For mic slash auxiliary audio, pick the microphone you want to use for your voice. I'm using my laptop mic for now, but I highly recommend a good external mic for streaming. Now click on video in the sidebar. Set both your base canvas resolution and your output scaled resolution. I'm using 1280 by 720 for both. You can go for higher for your FPS, set between 30 to 60. For me, 30 works fine. Click Apply, then OK to save those settings. You will probably see a rectangle chat box here. Drag it to the left. When you go live, you will see your chats there. On the right side of the main OBS window, find and click Manage Broadcast. This is where you set up your stream on YouTube's end. Type in a title and description that viewers will see. Set the privacy to public. When it asks if your stream is made for kids, choose no. You can upload a custom thumbnail here, too, if you want. When you're ready, click Create Broadcast. To double check things, open YouTube in your browser or the app. Click your profile icon in the top right corner and go into YouTube Studio. On the left, click Content, then switch to the Live tab. You should see your new broadcast listed. You can tweak settings here or click View in Live Control Room to see a preview directly on YouTube. If everything looks good, head back to OBS Studio. Take a deep breath and click the Start Streaming button. That's it. You're officially live on YouTube. Hope this guide helps you get set up. If it did, a like on the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. Drop a comment below too. I'd love to hear from you. Take care and happy streaming.